For the second time in a week, Meghan Markle stepped out without Prince Harry, sharing a powerful message about online bullying with young girls. But does this solo appearance signal a new direction for the Sussexes? Let's dive into Meghan's important message and the possible shift in her royal life. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, made a solo appearance at Girls Incorporated of Greater Santa Barbara on October 2nd, where she discussed her personal experiences with cyberbullying and helped launch a new digital wellness program. The event, co-funded by the Sussex's Archwell Foundation, partnered with the nonprofit hashtag Half the Story to encourage young girls to build a healthier relationship with technology. Megan opened up to the girls, telling them that she was one of the most bullied people in the world as they discussed how online scenarios affect emotions, using emojis to express their feelings. This initiative comes at a critical time, with social media increasingly becoming a source of stress and anxiety for young people. The goal of the program is to teach girls to navigate digital spaces while promoting creativity and connection, rather than isolation. Megan's message resonated with the girls, who engaged in activities designed to build emotional awareness in the digital age. Larissa May, founder of Hashtag Half the Story, shared that the discussion was heartfelt, with Megan leading conversations about the impact of online bullying and how the program can help girls thrive in today's connected world. Interestingly, this appearance is part of a growing trend where Megan has been seen without Prince Harry by her side. Just days earlier, she attended the Children's Hospital Los Angeles Gala solo, sparking rumors that the couple is beginning to carve out separate paths professionally. Royal insiders suggest that while the Duke and Duchess will still engage in joint public appearances, they are increasingly pursuing their individual passions. Meghan's focus seems to be on entrepreneurship and advocating for issues like digital wellness, while Prince Harry remains dedicated to his patronages and humanitarian work. Prince Harry, who has been away on a pseudo-royal tour, has also been pursuing solo engagements, visiting New York, London, and South Africa. Sources close to the couple indicate that this twin-track approach marks a new phase in their public life, with both individuals hitting their stride as separate entities, as well as a couple. While the public speculates about what this means for their future, both Meghan and Harry seem committed to making positive change in the world, particularly when it comes to online safety. In a recent interview, Megan reflected on her own experiences with online bullying, especially while pregnant with her children, Archie and Lilibet. She described the period as painful and isolating, but emphasized how it strengthened her resolve to protect her family. Megan's candidness about mental health continues to be a theme in her public appearances, offering support to those who may be struggling with similar issues. This latest event also aligns with the couple's broader initiative, the Parents Network, which focuses on child safety online. Supported by Archwell, Oprah Winfrey's Charitable Foundation, and Melissa Frenchgate's Pivotal Ventures, the campaign aims to create a safe community for parents and caregivers navigating the digital landscape. The couple has expressed a deep commitment to protecting children from the harmful effects of social media, and Megan's involvement in this digital wellness program is just one facet of their ongoing advocacy. Megan Markle's recent solo appearances and her message of resilience in the face of online bullying highlight her dedication to making a difference, especially for the next generation. What do you think of Megan's new direction and her candid remarks about her own struggles? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on the Sussexes. Thanks for watching!